Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Dominican Sisters of Peace and the St. Mary's Dominican High School community, I welcome you today, the members of class of 2020 and parents. It's truly a blessing to finally have everyone together again. We are so grateful to Father Tim Hedrick, the pastor of St. Catherine of Siena Parish, who made it possible for us to gather in prayer and celebration today in this beautiful church. It is particularly meaningful that we gather in this church named in honor of St. Catherine of Siena, doctor of the church. Because when the St. Mary's Dominican High School Alumni Association was formed in 1901, it was St. Catherine of Siena, this extraordinary woman from our Dominican family, who was chosen to be the patroness. So let us stand as we begin our ceremony with a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Faithful, loving, and merciful God, as we gather today for prayer and in celebration of St. Mary's Dominican High School's Class of 2020, we gratefully acknowledge the graduates and their accomplishments. We celebrate the many gifts they have shared with the Dominican community. And we pray that this will be a day of joy, a day of happy memories, a day of gratitude. Today, as our graduates become, bring to conclusion their high school years and begin the next part of their journey in life, may each graduate discover her unique life mission rooted in your love. May she experience the profound inner peace that comes from relying on your love and mercy. And may each look to our Blessed Mother Mary as an example of faithful, selfless dedication to the will of God. We give you thanks for all who have supported our graduates during their Dominican journey, their families, their friends, and all the Dominican educators. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus and through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, St. Dominic, and St. Catherine. And we say together, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. And now, please be seated, and Mrs. Favre will begin uh, the next part of our ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Thomas, and good afternoon, graduates and parents. The salutatorian is the honor graduate who has achieved the second highest cumulative grade point average in her class. This year, Elise Dorothy Berg has merited this honor. The salutatorian of the class of 2020 will deliver her welcome address. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this unique graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. Before I begin, I'd like to thank Dr. Thomas, Mrs. Favre, the faculty and staff, and our friends and family for everything you've done for this class over the past five years. I'm not going to lie. I've thought about what I would say with, in this speech, but never in all of my shower practice sessions did I imagine it would happen like this. I don't think anyone could have pictured us being split up, social distancing, having to wear masks, and not sitting in the Siena gym. 
Despite that, I'm going to focus on the reason we're here. We finally made it. Thank you, class of 2020, for getting me through these past five years. I would not be speaking to you all right now without all your support, our daily dose of candy and calculus, Gwen Stefani jams with Mrs. Reza, much needed stress relief lotion from Ms. Caffrey before geometry class, and dog videos from Ms. LaFonte when people were freaking out about anatomy. To all of you who took that class, I applaud you. Because luckily for me, I avoided it because yes, I am the girl who becomes salutatorian of her class and then thinks it is a great and financially stable idea to study theater. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for creating a community that not only encourages people academically, but also artistically. From eboard calling out my first gig on the announcements, to people that I'm not super close to randomly asking me to sing oceans for them in the middle of class, thank you. I am so blessed that the world we live in is becoming more supportive of people who pursue careers in the arts. Everyone at Dominican has been so kind, and I am blessed that I have parents and teachers like Ms. Castillo and Ms. Abadie who have gone above and beyond to support my dreams. I am so thankful for all of the memories that this class has shared together, from the hard times trying to get rally in sync to the times when our grade really became united as a sisterhood. I am so blessed to have been part of this amazing group of 156 young women. We have formed a beautiful support system and a family that I will sincerely miss. To close this out, I will share some lines from the song For Good. I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason. So let me say before we part, you'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. Who can say if I've been changed for the better, but because I knew you, I have been changed for good. Thank you all so much. I love you and congratulations. Thank you, Elise. The valedictorian is the student who has achieved the highest cumulative grade point average within her program of studies. This year, Lindsay Page Jones and Tessa Louise Paul have merited this distinction. The valedictorians of the class of 2020 will now give their addresses. Lindsay. Greetings, St. Mary's Dominican High School faculty, family, friends, and fellow members of the class of 2020. As I began to reflect on the past five years, I could not help but realize that Dominican has gifted us with so much. One of the most important gifts bestowed upon us is a tightly bonded and irreplaceable sisterhood. The next most important gift received is the knowledge from the rigorous curriculum. Though both are undeniable pillars of our Dominican experience, the one thing that will impact the rest of our lives is the change we experienced. The best way for me to explain is using the metamorphosis of a caterpillar. When we first arrived in August of 2015, we hatched as small caterpillars into an entirely new world. We inched our way through eighth and ninth grade, learning our classes, study habits, lunch schedules, classmates, and even a new building, which helped us to become more efficient, organized, attentive, and cooperative. By our sophomore year, we were bigger caterpillars, but still had new frontiers to uncover, such as teams, workspace, and plus portals. This taught us to adapt to our ever-changing world of technology. Our junior and senior years were when some of us thought things were too difficult, with our world closing in on us like a cocoon, such as leadership roles, ACT, scholarships, tests, quizzes, meetings, and little sisters, among other things. All these things occurring at once gave us a glimpse of what the rest of our lives would boil down to, responsibilities and time management. Just as we were about to emerge came the darkest part of our metamorphosis, quarantine. Despite our uncertainty with the work that needed to be finished, Dominican altered our perception to show us what truly matters most, each other. 
No one ever let us forget that we were at the heart of their decisions, no matter how far we all were, and they made sure that we checked on one another. They showed us that hard work matters, but love and relationships are key. No matter what changes were brought our way, each was necessary to form us into the amazing young women before me. Today, it is time for us to hatch again, only this time we will be better equipped because we changed here. Dominican, thank you for every lesson taught, both inside and outside of the classrooms, and for giving us space and support to grow. Now we are butterflies, brand new after everything we have endured, but each change bringing us into what we are today. Fearless, graceful, and beautiful beings. Our first flight into the rest of our lives might be scary. Our first flight will probably be sad because we will be flying alone, but I know that our flights will be successful because that is all Dominican produces, no matter the path taken. I've been so amazed and honored to not only witness, but to also be a part of this metamorphosis into beautiful young women, ready to conquer the world and spread our wings to bring knowledge, love, and truth, veritas, everywhere we go. Congratulations, my dear class of 2020. Now, take flight. Thank you, Lindsay. And now, Vitessa. First, thank you to everyone for helping me get to where I am today. I could not have made it this far without your encouragement and help every step along the way. Classmates, teachers, staff, administration, parents, and family. I speak for all of us when I say, we could not have finished high school without you. I'm not going to lie and say that I'm sentimental and nostalgic, because I'm not. But I have been told that I'm persistent. I messaged 35 people trying to figure out what I was going to say in this speech, because I had absolutely no idea how to say goodbye to 155 of my classmates that I've spent the last five years with in only three minutes. Out of the 35 messages, I got one response from Kendall Coyne, who is a member of the US women's ice hockey team. She said, always follow your dreams, believe in yourself. And the part that stuck out to me the most, be willing to put in the effort it takes to accomplish those dreams. We have all worked so hard through our years at Dominican for this very moment. And maybe this isn't exactly, or even close, to how we expected this moment to be. We still worked so hard to achieve our dream, graduating. Then we have more dreams to accomplish and more changes to encounter. College, medical school, law school, careers, and so many more. And these will be hard. They'll require effort. But Dominican has ingrained in us how to succeed, even when things do not work out how we expect them to. While I was growing up, my dad always said, work with your brain, not your back. This has stuck with me my entire schooling career. We have learned necessary life skills at St. Mary's Dominican High School so that we can do whatever we put our minds to. Dominican has made us our generation's best problem solvers and intuitive thinkers. We know how to think well and thoroughly. We have the capacity to do anything. Dominican has prepared us for our future and for us to su succeed, no matter what changes we encounter. We have formed a bond that will keep us connected, even if we don't talk every day of the week. We hold each other up and we will always support one another. Thank you, class of 2020. Thank you, Tessa. Each year, the student council officers work diligently for the school and the student body. They are responsible for setting the tone for the year and the spirit of the school. The 2019-2020 executive board has done an exceptional job of helping our underclassmen and their fellow classmates understand and appreciate the unique spirit which unites the entire Dominican student body. We are very proud and grateful to the following seniors. 
and we ask you to please stand to be recognized. President Aaron Elise Cicada, Vice President Zoe Noel Hunter, Secretary Bryce Martz Leonard, and Treasurer Alyssa Gabrielle Hegwig, Helwig. Congratulations, students. At this time, I will announce the awards to be presented today. The Mother Mary Magdalene O'Farrell OP Service Award is presented to the student who has been recognized for her outstanding dedicated service to St. Mary's Dominican High School. Dominican life and growth are mirrored in her reflection on the school's philosophy by belief in God and respect for the dignity of all human beings. This year, we have one student receiving this award, Elise Dorothy Berg. The Alumni Association was inaugurated on April 30, 1901 to support the Ministry of Catholic Education. The Alumni Award is presented to the student selected by her classmates as one who represents Dominican spirit. Dominican's motto, to praise, to bless, to preach, is an integral part of her life, as is her commitment to truth, veritas. This award was renamed by the Alumni Association as the Sister Mary Ambrose Reggio OP Alumni Award. This year, we have one student receiving this award, Mary Louise Alexander. The Ancient Order of Hibernians is America's oldest Irish Catholic fraternal organization started in May 1836. The members of the Ancient Order of Hibernians greeted the seven Dominican sisters from St. Mary's Convent in Cabra, Ireland when they arrived in New Orleans on November 5, 1860. This year we present the Ancient Order of Hibernians inaugural award to the senior who exemplifies the motto of the AOH, Friendship, Unity, and Christian Charity. This year we have one student receiving this award, Elise Dorothy Berg. The Veritas Award is the most prestigious award presented to a St. Mary's Dominican High School graduating senior. The recipient of this award demonstrates exemplary understanding of the Dominican charism. Following the example of St. Dominic de Guzman, founder of the Dominican Order, the Veritas Award recipient faithfully strives to seek truth through prayer, study, community, and service. She preaches the, the truth of the gospel through the example of her life and calls forth the best in others. The award is an artistic rendition of the lighted cupola above the Veritas shield on the school campus Veritas Tower and is placed on top of a green base in honor of the Dominican sisters from Cabra, Ireland, who founded St. Mary's Dominican in 1860. This year, four graduates have been selected by the leadership, administration, and the faculty to receive the Veritas Awards. Mary Louise Alexander, Madison Marie Bertusi, Alyssa Gabrielle Helwig, and Gloria Elizabeth Thomas. Gloria, please come forward to receive your award from Dr. Thomas. And congratulations to you, Gloria. I will now deliver the Class of 2020 profile. St. Mary's Dominican High School treasures its tradition and heritage, and the Class of 2020 has certainly contributed to our school's legacy. The Class of 2020 has achieved many honors and received numerous awards. These students were outstanding leaders in academics, athletics, Christian life and service, student government, 
fine arts in every club and organization that was available to them. Students who have earned grade point averages above 3.5 are recognized each year as honor graduates. 72 members of the class of 2020 have merited this distinction. Honor graduates are privileged to wear black stoles and this designation is listed in the program. 21 students graduated cum laude with a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.749. 11 students graduated magna cum laude with a grade point average of 3.75 to 3.999. And 40 students have finished with a grade point average above 4.0 and have merited the honor medal which they are wearing today. These are Dominicans summa cum laude graduates. All honor graduates will be recognized as each graduate's name is called to receive her um, diploma jacket. Members of the class of 2020 earned admission into more than 89 different colleges and universities throughout the country. 374 scholarships and awards were merited by 113 seniors. These scholarships and awards total more than $10.7 million. There were no spring testing programs this year. However, as of May 5th, 27 students in the senior class have qualified for advanced placement in college through AP exams for a total of 127 semester hours of credit. Many of these students are placed into honors programs because of their high scores on placement tests. 20 students earned another 117 hours of math credit through math dual enrollment with LSU. The class of 2020 completed over 28,845 hours of service to the community. In fine arts, music, drama, and the visual arts, the graduates before you today are among the most talented in the state. Athletically, members of this class participated in eight out of 10 sports offered at Dominican, breaking individual records. Additionally, these students captured many titles, including LHSAA all academic teams and all district team members. This year, Dominican also captured district and state runner-up titles. And one member of the senior class signed an athletic scholarship to continue her athletic career at the college level. One of the highest academic honors a high school student can receive is national merit recognition for outstanding academic ability as determined by her scores in the PSAT administered in October of her junior year. One Dominican student was recognized this year by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. These students are among the 50,000 top students in the United States. Some 16,000 of the high scores representing less than 1% of the nation's high school graduating seniors qualify as semifinalists, and about 90% of them advance to finalists. One member of this graduating class has been recognized by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation as a 2020 National Merit Finalist. Please stand Celeste Ame Patron. Congratulations. Congratulations to each Dominican graduate, and we thank you for a job well done. We pray that you will continue growing in the attributes of a Dominican graduate. At this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Wendy Grubb, college counselor, to present to you the class of 2020. As you come to the front, please um, remove your mask for the photograph. And also, if you would, please, um, after you've had the photograph, 
uh, go down the far aisle and then back to your seat because it'll make things flow more smoothly for us, okay? Sophie Ann Madere. Chloe Alyssa Mall. Gracie May Manthe, magna cum laude. Emma Claire Mantooth. Aaron Jayla Morero. Sarah Alice Masson. Hallie Victoria Mathern, summa cum laude. Sarah Emelina Medina Garcia, summa cum laude. Kennedy Elizabeth Molasson, summa cum laude. Courtney Sadie Mercadel, cum laude. Mackenzie Rose Miller. Sarah Ann Miller, summa cum laude. Isabella Elizabeth Morell. Maddie Camille Morell, magna cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Morisi, summa cum laude. Shelby Elizabeth Morris, magna cum laude.
Morgan Claire Muscarello, cum laude. Sophie Elizabeth Mising. Zoe Sharice Nelson. Jade Marie Nguyen, cum laude. Mia Hong Nguyen, magna cum laude. Isabella Grayson Ackman, summa cum laude. Grace I own O'Connor. Oniechi Crystal Okiki, magna cum laude. Abby Marie Ordoin. Alyssa Michelle Ordoin. Audrey Marie Owen, cum laude. Ayan Mikkel Page, cum laude. Celeste Ame Patron, summa cum laude. Tessa Louise Paul, summa cum laude. Kennedy Renee Payne, summa cum laude. Jalen Brianne Payton.
Nia Dion Payton. Kylan Claire Peroni. Reagan Jane Perry, summa cum laude. Olivia Maria Payton. Julia Delaney Pittman, Isabel Elise Plaisance. Abigail Lee Pratt. Natalie Ann K. Roos. Alexis Catherine Raymond, summa cum laude. Joy Christiane Richardson, Gabriella Elena Rivera, Lane Marie Roberts. Sarah Rose Rogers. Miriam Elizabeth Romero. Marta Natasha Salas. L. Jane Solomon.
Rachel Catherine Schlosser, summa cum laude. Margaret Mary Schmidt, summa cum laude. Emily Gabriella Schneider. Celeste Lynn Schonberg, summa cum laude. Aaron Elise Cicada, cum laude. Abigail Claire Sire. Julia Ann Slattery, summa cum laude. Emma Virginia Sprague, cum laude. Bailey Catherine Sutters. Ty Alejandra Sutherland, summa cum laude. Mia Ellen Taylor. Alondra Daliana Tehran. Emily Lauren Thayer. Deja Kaylin Thomas, cum laude.
Gloria Elizabeth Thomas. Naya Raquel Thomas. <clears throat> Kayla Danielle Tobin. Chloe Gerald Townsend, magna cum laude. Kelly Lynn Tucker. Isabella Denali Wagner. Molly Ann Walter. Emily Catherine Wenzel, cum laude. Julia Marie West. Anita Basho Whitner. Audrey Virginia Wilson. Amaya Michelle Wiltz, Grace Claudia Wood, summa cum laude. Jennifer Ann Girl. Irene Yu, summa cum laude.
Catherine Marie Zimmerman, summa cum laude. Congratulations to the class of 2020. At this time, Dr. Thomas will, con will conclude our ceremony. Thank you. And now for the commissioning of our graduates into the St. Mary's Dominican High School Alumni Association. Graduates, when you were inducted into St. Mary's Dominican High School and received your Veritas Shields, you officially became a part of the Dominican community. On ring day, when you accepted your Dominican ring, you confirmed your commitment to praise, to bless, and to preach Jesus, the word Veritas. Today, we welcome you into the Alumni Association, and we pray that you will continue developing the attributes stated in the profile of a Dominican graduate throughout your life. And in the words that you've heard proclaimed during your baccalaureate mass, your virtual mass earlier, and also a number of times as at Dominican, is from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, proclaim the word, be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. Graduates, please stand. St. Catherine of Siena, seeker of eternal truth, embraced by the mercy of God, intercede on the behalf of our graduates. Pray that she may strengthen her inner life and immerse themselves in the work of justice and peace in the world. May the holy word that you preached by the example of your life inspire our graduates and all who seek Jesus, the truth, the resurrection, and the life. Intercede for our graduates of St. Mary's Dominican High School today as they are sent forth, formed in the Dominican tradition to build a more peaceful and just world. And I ask you, when indicated, to, to respond, pray for us. St. Catherine of Siena, courageous and compassionate woman, pray for us. St. Catherine of Siena, wise and astute woman of God, pray for us. St. Catherine of Siena, patroness of the St. Mary's Dominican High School Alumni Association, pray for us. May God, who began this good work in you, bring it to completion. So congratulations to the newest members of the Alumni Association. Please be seated. Graduates, you may have noticed you have a gift bag that awaits you, and it's been prepared by the Alumni Association for you. There are a number of special gifts in that bag. One is um, a, a booklet with a number of um, 
uh, reflections or words of encouragement for you as Dominican alums. Um, there's also a beautiful rosary, and be sure to read the story of that rosary. And one of the gifts in the bag is the, a flash drive of your baccalaureate mass, your virtual mass and, 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 um, and graduation that we had on the day of your actual planned graduation. And we encourage you to, when you have a moment, when you have some quiet time, to review that mass and that ceremony again. And listen carefully to the homily that Father Dave Karen gave that day. And we hope that you are inspired once again, so you have a number of inspirations to carry you forth in the coming days and months. And so now we will conclude our ceremony with the Irish blessing. And following the Irish blessing, um, I will sing the alma mater and then um, we, um, everyone will be asked to, uh, as you leave the church, the, the ushers will um, start from the back so that we're not congregating. They'll direct you to, uh, out, okay? And please stand for the Irish blessing. May the road rise up to meet you May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. <clears throat> Alma mater, home of learning, hear our voices loud in praise while our loyal hearts are yearning to poor heights thy name to raise peace and love and wisdom hoary in thy halls our youth has found ours will be to spread thy glory far and near thy fame to sound ours will be to spread thy glory far and near thy fame to sound proudly march we need thy standard saints and sages names enrolled veritas has never wandered from thy shield full centuries old. Peace and love and wisdom hoary in thy halls our youth has found. Ours twill be to spread thy glory far and near thy fame to sound. Ours twill be to spread thy glory for and near thy fame to sound.